One of the key initiatives that we have under the Centers for Diversity and Inclusion is to recruit and retain residents that are underrepresented in medicine into our hospitals. The definition of underrepresented in medicine is anyone who identifies as Black, African American, Latinx, Hispanic, Native American, or Alaskan Native. It's very important to ensure that our trainees and our faculty represent the population of people that we're serving. Every year, medical students interview for spots in our residency training programs. There's a process called the MATCH. The MATCH program tries to match medical students to their most preferred programs, considering the preferences of the programs they apply to. Historically, medical school applicants would come, they would spend a few days, and they would actually do that all around the country. In 2021, we were all living through a global pandemic, and one of the things that we had to do was we had to pivot on our strategy. So the interview season for our residency recruitment became remote, not just at the MGB level, but also in the entire country. What that meant was that applicants didn't need to travel anymore. They could actually interview, turning on their computer and entering a Zoom meeting. In the past, in a reception, in an in-person reception, we got about 40 people. That was a really nice turnout. Now we were seeing hundreds, hundreds of applicants showing up in our Zoom screen, all these diverse faces from across the country. One of the added benefits of the virtual recruiting season was there was an equity benefit to students who could not afford to travel. So really what that amounted to is increasing the number of diverse uh, applicants that were interviewed at our programs. When I interviewed uh, and was searching for orthopedic residency training programs. I interviewed at 22 programs, and the big things for me were I just wanted to be in a city uh, with a diverse patient population uh, that allowed me to take care of people that look like me. I had to, the opportunity to attend several uh, CDI-sponsored virtual uh, receptions. Uh, I thought those were awesome. It was also great to see, and I thought honestly unique to MGB, to see that many residents being uh, interviewed who look like me, sound like me, and who are underrepresented in medicine. Being able to see people that look like you, that have similar experiences, it changes your ability to be able to really thrive in a place. It can be really scary for applicants, especially applicants of color, to try to venture into new environments. So I remember what it felt like, how scary, how um, uncertain it felt to just step into this space. Boston is really cold and really expensive. We're so fortunate that we received uh, support from the hospital presidents and both of the Centers for Diversity and Inclusion at both Brigham and Mass General. Basically what we did was we said if you match into a program and you meet a specific criteria around economic disadvantage, you will receive $10,000 a year for the three years you're in your residency program. The stipend program allows medical students uh, to rank Mass General Brigham programs as highly as they would like uh, without as much consideration or fear about the cost of living being a, a barrier to actually coming to one of our programs. So on match day of 2021, we were a little uneasy. We didn't know what would happen. Prior to 2021, the percentage match of those uh, underrepresented in medicine into the integrated MGB programs was anywhere between eight and 20%, no higher than 20%. I wasn't sure if it was a mistake. I kept seeing the numbers come in and I kept thinking, are these correct? Are these numbers right? We're talking double digit UIM matches across multiple programs. We were just ecstatic. A program that typically may have matched one UIM, this year might have seen five UIMs. I matched at the Harvard Combined Orthopedic Residency Program in 2021. The faculty here were um, looking to change the way medicine looks uh, across the country and, you know, starting here in, in Boston. And, you know, when you're at a program that, uh, that where that is the mission and that's the emphasis, uh, you can't help but choose it. Over one third of the incoming interns and residents who are coming here to train are now UIMs. That is record breaking and that cannot be overemphasized or over celebrated because we're changing what this place looks like, what our patients get to see. This is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires an investment of resources, time, money, staff, you name it to make it happen. Success also looks like not just bringing our residents in, 
but ensuring that we can retain them and actually grow their career while they are here so that they can become faculty within our academic medical centers. These things don't happen in a vacuum. As much goodwill as you have into it, it needs to have investment, it needs to have sustainability. The benefit is clear that when we have a more diverse, inclusive environment, people thrive, and that's essential for what we're doing in healthcare. There are really tough issues that we're figuring out, and we need the best and most diverse group of people to help us solve those problems. This should be our inspiration, our catalyst to want to push forward and not take our foot off the gas and to keep propelling forward towards an even better outcome so that we're meeting all the needs for UIM trainees that are here now and also expanding our faculty pipeline as well so that they have people to support them and addressing the issues around culture and inclusiveness across our system at large.